Today we're gonna to be unboxing and building a Zoom room. I'm Sean Barr and this is a Tech Talk. All right, welcome back. So I'm here with my man Marshall for our next video. We are gonna be building out a Zoom room. So Marshall, Take us through what we got here. Yeah, so we have a few components here. Uh, this is the camera. We're actually using the Logitech Meetup camera. And uh, this guy here is mainly for a room that's uh, maybe you know two to uh, seven people, has a very wide angle lens so that you can get people that are sitting kind of close to the camera. We also have uh, an Intel Nook. You can also use a uh, Mac Mini. Uh, and it's basically the compute for the codec of uh, the Zoom software. And then lastly, we have an iPad mini, and this is gonna be used as the remote control. So so essentially, just to ask a couple questions, so th this is just a USB camera, right? It is, yes, yeah. And, and essentially, this is just a PC. Exactly, yeah, so, so, simple components. And an iPad. You've got it. So iPad, PC, USB uh, camera. What about mics? Where are the mics? So in this case, the mic is actually built into the camera. And then on the back of this guy, which is kind of uh, nice, is there is a single out for a, an additional mic. Okay. And so, again, this is for a smaller, you know, kind of huddle room or, you know, it could, could go up to maybe seven people uh, in a room. Um, but yeah, so this type of a solution with, uh, uh, particularly in this case, we're using Zoom, but um, it's software-based. So it's a software-based codec, uh, meaning that the Zoom software is installed on uh, a third-party piece of hardware, such as a Microsoft Windows 10 PC or a Mac Mini um, running, uh, you know, some some form of uh, Apple iOS, um, and uh, and and it's as simple as that. It's software-based rather than the traditional teleconference or telepresence rooms that are, you know, hardware-based. Awesome. So so you can run. So really, essentially, this doesn't have to be Zoom. It could be a Skype system. It could be Zoom. You got it, it could be okay. the hardware is not unique it's a standard hardware off the shelf consumer grade kind of products okay so so essentially here we've got basically just a pc and a usb webcam you got it okay cool all right so i guess the next step for us is we're gonna connect this up and get it going and uh yeah we'll get it connected up and we'll get it going and we'll see you in a second So we got everything mounted up. We've got our Nook and the cabinet. We've got our iPad here and our USB camera. HDMI is all connected in and we've got some network and we're ready to configure the Zoom system. So we've already, uh, what have we done so far? I guess, you know, talking about the I just plugged in the hardware. So, which is, you know, the three components that we already talked about, pretty basic. Um, some of the other things that we had to ensure is that the network between the iPad and the uh, Nook, in this case, the PC, is on the same network. Okay. Uh, or that they can actually talk to each other because that will be important later on as we start putting the software on. And what, what about uh, from an iPad perspective, we had to build an iCloud account. Is there yeah, anything definitely. You know, so we wanted to have an iCloud account so that we can download the software. Um, also ran all the upgrades uh, on it, which is that's pretty simple on an, on an Apple device. Um, and then created a passcode. Um, we made one very simple that we all know because we kind of share it. Yep. Um, and then on the Nook, we did the same thing, created a profile on the Nook, uh, did, I don't know how many Windows updates that, that we did the night before because that would have eaten up all the time on this video. Right. Um, and, uh, and then we created uh, several accounts on that as well so that we can have, uh, you know, a domain profile so we can manage it off of our domain. So we're pretty much managing this system as if it was an end user computer, a desktop. Yeah, exactly. So, so essentially you're provisioning a desktop, provisioning a laptop. You could get your MDM platform yep. to manage that if you wanted to. Uh, and then now we're, uh, we're ready to install the Zoom software, right? That's correct. So, All right, so let's go. Let's get let's get to it. Uh So it opens up full screen, right? It's an application software based. Um, and the idea behind this is we will then pair uh, this, uh, the iPad to this app. And then we'll tie this into the actual cloud 
uh, subscription. And so this is like pairing with the iPad. It's giving you a code to so you can marry the iPad to that, the... That's exactly right. Okay, so we got it paired. So now, now what? Yeah, so the next step is actually to sign in. And, and so I'm going to sign in on the iPad. You put in your account's email address and password. So I'll do that now. And yeah, so, so we just signed in and it's going to show us a list of from that account of um, all the Zoom rooms that has access. So, so with a single account, you could create um, mo multiple Zoom rooms or uh, you could have an account per room, basically your choice. Uh, in this case, we have this account with a single Zoom room. We could even add additional rooms, but we already have this single room. So I'm going to select it. And, and when you're signing in here, it already knows that this is the Zoom room that we're talking about. So you select that room, it becomes that room, right? It, it, it does. So the room is also tied to a user account. Okay. And so you could use an existing user's account. Um, you can create a new user account and then use that for the Zoom room. For the room. Okay. That's right. So, so it all depends on, on you know, the naming conventions that a customer wants to use. Awesome. So, so we got it signed in. We selected the room. We're good. Are we good to make a call or, or what? Or what's, what's the next step? So the next step is to uh, ensure from the Zoom uh, admin portal that everything's there. We have our Zoom room now. Um, so yes, yeah, so everything looks good and healthy. All right, so we got the, the Zoom room all registered. We've got it uh, set up. We, we went through the, the cloud registration, the web portal, how you can manage both the iPad and the Zoom room itself or the Nook. So now what we're gonna do is join the Zoom room to a actual meeting and from a, a PC join that meeting as well to test out the video capabilities of an actual Zoom room. All right, so Marshall's in another another room and he's gonna be joining our Zoom room. So we talked about, a little bit about it before that I just press start and that's gonna open up my room and we should see Marshall on the other end. So I started the room and we'll see if we see Marshall over there. Hey Marshall. Hey Sean, how's it going? Great, great. Um, so can uh, you're looking good? So it sounds like you're uh, you joined in. You joined my Zoom room, and you can see me on the screen. That's right. Yep, yeah, everything's working. Awesome. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining, and uh, we'll see you soon. Ciao. All right. So to wrap up. We built a Zoom room. We talked a little bit about the components, the USB camera, the Nook, the iPad. We got it all registered to the Zoom cloud. We also got the iPad app to control the Zoom room. We also took you through the join process of joining and creating a meeting. And then Marshall joined a meeting remotely from his desktop. So we did all that today. All right, so that wraps it up. So if there's any questions or things that we didn't answer in this video, make sure you leave a comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.